Hey, I'm Wit. Welcome to the channel. Do you like to take uh, more than a few watches with you when you travel outside of the house? Well, I've got just the watch box for you. Stick around and we'll get into this eight watch box. <laughs> That's right, I said eight watches. <laughs> if you're somebody that uh, think, who needs to take eight watches with them anywhere? Well, this video might not be for you. For the rest of you freaks, welcome in. Where can I buy three, right? So you see the outside starts with this uh, faux leather material with contrast white stitching. And uh, this back panel here, uh, I've had an issue with that that I'll um, bring up a little later in the video. But... Um, all in all, it uh, is a nice uh, design on the outside. It's nice and smooth, about nine inches um, in length, uh, two and a half inches or so uh, deep, and about uh, seven inches across. And uh, the zippers operate very smoothly. Haven't had an issue with them, not being jammed or anything. And uh, the top side, you know, the full watches want to fold down a little bit, so they usually just hold that little partition uh, to keep them from doing that. You see this one? Uh, drooped over. It's just that little piece of elastic that holds them in place. So, and I'll go over that in more detail later and show you a close up of that. So, I first found these on AliExpress. There was an eight watch version, a four, and a two. Hello, hey, focus here. You need to stop looking at the watches. We're here to look up the case. I got an idea. All right, there. Is that better? Yeah, there we go. Just the case. Now we can focus. <laughs> so like I was saying, uh, I found this on AliExpress, the 8, 4, and 2 version, and I only found the 8 version on Amazon, which is where I bought this, but uh, that was just fine with me. So as we move to the inside here, you see uh, it's got uh, kind of a felt uh, or velour type material that the watch sits up against, and uh, does a great job of uh, keeping it from getting scratched up against anything. And then these elastic uh, keepers are what uh, keep it tied down. And I haven't had any problem with those snapping or anything. Uh, everything seems to be secure. You've got this uh, separation panel, which is again faux leather, insulated just a little touch, but does a nice job to keep the watches from scratching up against each other or anything. Let's get you some measurements now. Uh, so the inside where your case would go is about 54 millimeters and the strap section uh, is 29 millimeters. The overall uh, length is about 141 millimeters. So that's uh, about five and a half inches or so. I know, I know. Looks like at least eight inches. I'm right there with you. <laughs> So uh, let me put uh, my largest watch in there for you. So this is about 48 millimeters uh, in diameter on the case size, including the crown. And then those straps are 24 millimeters. And then my smallest watch here, this is, when you do the uh, more traditional two-piece strap, you want to fold the bottom up like that so that the uh, two straps are about the same length. It'll fit into the case a lot better. And so you see plenty of room with that one. I'll zoom in so you see that. Uh, so this is my largest and smallest watch sitting together uh, in the case. So I mentioned earlier that I had a problem with the panel. So about a day after I ordered my second box, the first box, this started coming off. So you see that it's actually glued on there. It's not really uh, stitched uh, into that spot. So I'm just wondering if it comes all the way off, what's going to happen if with, you know, with the two zippers just meet each other and everything's fine. I don't really know yet, but uh, I'll do what I can to keep this panel from coming off. Maybe I'll re-glue it myself or something. But I did like the, the case enough to buy a second one. And you see this is the first case as well. Look at this attention to detail. Pretty shoddy, but again, for the price, I thought, well, it's still su serving its purpose. It's just not a luxury item. But this is my second case here. So you see it looks just fine. So I think it's not just the watches themselves that have uh, quality control issues sometimes. It's also the accessories. So, because uh, this is my second case and there are no issues on the stitching uh, or, you know, the, the cutouts of those uh, panels at all. So all in all, I think it's a great case uh, for about $20 on Amazon. I'll leave, leave a link down below. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel as well. Till next time, we'll see you soon.